Okay guys, I just finished doing a wash up on these uh, 862s that have been ported out to a 220 cc intake runner, 83 cc exhaust. Um, I did knock down some of the rough texture inside the chambers. They're not polished, but they are uh, significantly smoother than factory. Um, the valves are all lapped in. They have really good uh, even band or gray area where they're going to seat really well. Uh, but I just wanted to kind of get this on video because I'm going to start final assembly. Uh, generally what I'll do is I'll wash them one last time, uh, run a brush through all the guides, blow out all the bolt holes, make sure so there's, air, there's no debris down in any of the valleys or all the hidden areas on these heads. Then I will lightly grease the seats just to deter any rust buildup on them during storage because sometimes people are building projects that they're not immediately going to assemble. So I go ahead and put just a real light coat of uh, just red grease on the seats to kind of help them from, you know, collecting moisture and uh, doing any damage to the lap job. And then I'll start putting my top hat seals on this particular application. Okay guys, as always, and I hope you guys do the same thing, I always check the installed height of the uh, available space with the locator, whether that be a top hat positive seal or the separated uh, locator slash shim that goes underneath dual springs or the separated positive seal setup that comes on some of the LS heads. Always make sure you got your shim or your metal piece that's gonna protect the aluminum from the valve spring and check from there to your um, uh, fully extended or raised uh, valve spring retainer with locks and get it as tight as you can get it without hurting anything and verify, always verify the installed height that those valve springs are going to be living in. That way you know you've got the seat pressures, the operating pressures, open pressures, etc. That'll make this engine run like it's supposed to and perform like you had planned. So this thing is coming out right at 1.802. One so those springs are intended to be installed at a 1.800. One and that one, uh, I just did every other one coming down the head and they're all between 1801 and 1803 that one's 802 and uh, that's going to be perfect so I just want to let you guys know I do check that and I hope that uh, you guys will follow that lead and check all your installed heights anytime you're assembling a head especially if you had a valve job done because that's a way to a test the quality of workmanship of your machine shop and B you will be able to tell if they're all equal in the right installed height or if you have to shim each one individually to obtain that 1800 installed height a lot of people don't think of that but if the machine shop doesn't do a, cons a what would we call a consistent valve job on each seat and when they face the valves it actually raises the valve stem height when you go to assemble the head. So think about that. When they remove material to face the valve and remove material to clean the seat and the head, it's going to suck that valve further into the head, in turn raising or uh, making the installed height of the stem longer. So anytime you have a valve job done, check every valve because you know there can be inconsistencies or they could have had one seat that had more rust in it than one of the others and they had to do more work on it there's a lot of different scenarios so always check your valve uh, or sorry valve stem height for your installed height after you have a valve job 
and before final assembly. 